our days and everything, and it's every year, brothers and sisters, that we get calls from everyone, a lot of people that's in the class. Brother Garvin, what can we do? Can we go to the mall? Can we go shopping? What can we do on the Lord's Sabbath and on these high days? Well, brothers and sisters, I hope today we finish this lesson, you'll know exactly what you can do and what you cannot do Amen. according to the Lord, to the Bible. I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. We're going to only answer you according to the Bible. And you will know today what you will be able to do and what you will not be able to do. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I'm not going to prolong this. Let's get right into it because I have some scriptures to deal with. Let's go to 2 Timothy, the second chapter. And I want to read verse 15. 2 Timothy, the second verse, second chapter, rather, and the 15th verse. And brothers and sisters, because this is a must need, brothers and sisters, you have to study. Listen to me. Every Sabbath, you know the weekly Sabbath is coming. And we have the weekly Sabbath. We come here. What do we do? We come to holy, holy, a holy convocation. This is also considered a feast of the Lord. Mm -hmm. When we read this in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, we're going to read concerning the feast of the Lord. Yes, sir. Not the feast of man, not the feast of anybody else, the feast of the Lord. And I want to share this right here with you. But you have to do this, brothers and sisters. And if you don't do this, you will never understand what the Lord is asking you to do on this holy Sabbath. Right. And I mean Sabbaths with an S, from the weekly Sabbath all the way down. And brothers and sisters, this is something that we need to know because you are playing with your salvation. You are playing with yourselves when you don't do what does say the Lord. When you lean to your own understanding, listen to me. You go in error. Mm -hmm. Just like the brother, when he was caught picking up sticks, when they came right out of Egypt, they didn't know what to do. They took him to Moses, and Moses put the man in ward right. until they prayed to the Lord and asked the Lord, what shall we do to him? The Lord said, kill him. Kill him. What? Yeah, the Lord said, kill him. Mm -hmm. And the whole congregation had to kill him. So it's not to lean on our own understanding. But let's get right into this lesson. Verse 15, what does it say, brother? Study to show thyself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You see what he said? Rightfully dividing the word of truth. That's right. Not leaning to your own understanding. Skip down to verse 19. What does it say? Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, uh -huh. having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Depart from what? Iniquity. Because when you don't do what the Lord tell you to do on these high days and holy days, you'll go in error, and that's what? Sin. But the Lord say that you won't sin, okay? Mm -hmm. But let's go here. Let's go here to 1 John. Turn to 1 John, the fourth chapter. 1 John, the fourth chapter. 1 John 4. First John 4. And we're going to read it, verse 6. 1 John 4 and verse 6. Hope you hear this, brothers and sisters. Hope you hear this. Go ahead, brother. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. Mm -hmm. He that is not of God heareth not us. You see what it says? He that is not of God do what? Heareth not us. Go ahead, brother. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The spirit of error. So we don't want to get into the spirit of error, correct? Correct. So that's what the Lord is telling us, brothers and sisters. Hey, it tells you in John 4 and verse 24, what does it say? God is spirit and what? He that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
This is what you have to do, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And I want to take you to Romans, the seventh chapter. And we're going to read one verse there. And we're going to get straight into the lesson because I want you to know this. Romans, the seventh chapter. See, because so many times, brothers and sisters, people take this day lightly. Brothers take this day lightly. You're messing around with your life. The Sabbath day is, to, is not a joke. No. The feasts and high days of the Lord are not a joke. No, sir. It's so many times I see brothers and sisters, we come in here, we lounge around, we do everything, but the Lord is telling you this is a holy day. Mm -hmm. You don't do your pleasures on this day. That's right. That's right. You don't even speak your own, own words, words on this day. Yes, sir. But I see how we get to do everything. Man, I got to go do this. I got to go do that. Oh, let me just run to the bank and put some money in. Oh, let me depart. Hey, the Lord telling you to be still. It's a rest day. Right. This is what it is. Romans 7 and verse 1. Go ahead and read that, brother. No, ye not, brethren. For I speak to them that know the law. You hear what it says? For brothers, I'm speaking to them that know the law. Yes, sir. If you don't know the law, the feasts, his statutes, and everything, you need to learn them. That's right. This is what he's saying. For I'm speaking to them that know the law. Go yes. ahead. How that the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. You see what it says? These laws and statutes. Hey, they have dominion over you mm. as long as you live, brothers and sisters. That is so right. So you can't turn to the left and you no, can't sir. turn to the right. Whatever no, the Lord commands you to do, that you do. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Let's go right here to Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. 23. Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. And I hope when we come out of this, hey, I hope you understand what's really going on. And we're going to pick this up. Leviticus 23 and verse 1. Go ahead, brother. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, uh -huh. which he shall proclaim to be holy convocation. No, that said the feast of the Jews, didn't it? No, sir. It said the feast of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Not the feast of the Jews, no man, the feast of the Lord. Yes, sir. And he say, which... What you supposed to do? Have a holy convocation. Read it. Which ye shall, shall what? Ye she shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Uh huh. Even these are my feasts. Even these are my feasts. Go ahead. Six days shall work be done. Uh huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. You see what he said? Ye shall do no work therein, brothers and sisters. It is what? It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Uh-huh. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their season. He say, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Now, we picked up the weekly Sabbath. Mm -hmm. We got the Sabbath. Now, we picking up the day of Pen uh, Passover. It's right here. Okay. And the day of unleavened bread. You can write these down as we go. Go ahead. In the 14th day of the first month of the even is the Lord's Passover. Is what? It's the Lord's Passover. Go ahead. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. So you see what the Lord is saying here? So he told you about the weekly Sabbath. You have the weekly Sabbath first. That's a feast unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then on a certain day in a certain time of the year, on the 14th day, this is a feast day of the Lord. But it's not a high Sabbath. It's just a memorial. There you go, bro. The Passover is a memorial, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. You shall do that unto the Lord as a memorial. You're supposed to do this in remembrance of his death. Right. I'm not going to get all into the Passover. I want to stick to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Verse 6. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. You see what he said? 
So on the 15th day, so you got the 14th day, and the next day is the 15th day. Yes, it's sir. It's the unleavened bread. Yes, sir. So he said uh, at, at that uh, 6, let's skip down to verse 15, and what does it say? And ye shall count unto you from tomorrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Uh-huh. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number 50 days. Oh, so what is this? This is Pentecost, brothers and sisters. Right. This is the Feast of Weeks. Now, I asked you to write them down, but let's do this. I'll do this for you. I'm going to laugh at my writing. So you had that title, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The first day was what? The Sabbath day. What did the Lord say? No work. Okay. And then what was the next one? Unleavened bread, right? Yes, sir. And these right here, what we're going to read, uh, it's not a Sabbath. Going to be no servile work, okay? Right. So we have the Sabbath day, no work, no servile works, work. So what we're going to put here? Unleavened bread. I told you my writing ain't good. And then we got to what? Pentecost, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the Feast of Weeks. Okay. Go ahead and read, Brother Joe. End of 16. And ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ye shall bring out of your habitation two wave loaves of two-tenth deals. They shall be for of fine flour. They shall be baking with leaven. They are the first fruits unto the Lord. Right. And all this is on Pentecost, brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling you seven times seven is what? Forty-nine, and you add one day. This feast is always going to be held on Sunday. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is all it is. It's 50 days Pentecost. Okay? But what the Lord was saying right here, right here you can eat leavened bread. But, and you got to bake a little leaven in it and have this in it because this represents man and leaven represents sin. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's skip down and let's go to verse 23. Okay. Verse 23, what does it say? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a and holy convocation. A what? A blowing of trumpets. Trumpets. We have trumpets there. And we're going to go back and read all this, but I'm just letting you read all what the Lord is telling you of these high Sabbaths, okay? Right. Okay, continue to read. Ye shall do no servile work therein. He said, ye shall do no servile work. Isn't it under no servile right here? No servile work. Go ahead. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Mm-hmm. Skip set 27. Okay, skip down to verse 27. Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be in holy convocation unto you. He said it shall be the day of atonement, right? Yes. I'm putting atonement over here. Go ahead and read. And ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Uh-huh. And ye shall do no work in the same day. And ye shall do what? It's under no work, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead, brother. For it is the day of atonement, to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in the same day, he shall be cut off 
from among his people. Uh -huh. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. That's right. Go ahead. Ye shall do no manner of work. You shall do what? No manner of work. We just finished up with the atonements, didn't we? Yes. Didn't do any work. Go ahead and read. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Now, it, now I want to ask you something. Can you change a statue forever? No. Can't change nothing forever, can you? No. Go ahead and continue to read. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, mm -hmm. and ye shall afflict your souls. In the ninth day of the month at even, from even unto even, ye shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. Now, what he said at the ninth day, but it's talking about the ninth day of the evening because the ninth when the evening come, it's going to be the tenth day. Come on, brother. Okay? Teach. So I don't want you to get flicked and twisted on that. There you go. Make it plain. Now, continue to read, brother. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, the fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles. Shall be the Feast of what? Go ahead. For seven days unto the Lord. For seven days. Go ahead. On the first day shall be in holy convocation. Uh-huh. Ye shall do no servile work therein. You shall do what? No servile work. It's on the servile work. Go ahead, brother. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be in holy convocation unto you. Uh -huh. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. You see where it's at? Under no servile work. So we have the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Pentecost, Trumpets, Tabernacles, and Eighth Day. No servile work. And we're going to find out what this means, no serve our work. Mm -hmm. The Lord's Sabbath day, period. No what? No work. No work. The day of atonement, period. What? No work. No work. Now let's get busy. Y'all ready? Let's go here to Exodus, the 20th chapter. See, because brothers and sisters, these days, they mean something to the Lord. And you know the Lord told Moses this. He told Moses this because he wanted his people to know this. So even the Lord told you, say, hey, for I am holy, you be holy. Right. So this right here makes us holy, brothers and sisters, when we obey and do what does say the Lord. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Go ahead, brother. Remember the Sabbath day to now, keep it now, holy. Now, I told you. Now, we ran all of them down. Now, we're to go back through them. Mm -hmm. Now, the, at verse 8, it said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes. This is the weekly Sabbath. Mm -hmm. 52 days a year. This is going to come up. Right. 52 days a year, yearly. Go ahead and continue to read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Now, I want you to pay attention, close attention to what we read here now. He said he didn't want you to do any work. Right. He didn't want your sons. He didn't want your daughters. If you have slaves, if you have a man slave, that's a maid servant. Mm -hmm. And if you have a woman slave, that's a woman slave. Come on. He don't want her to work. Right. And if you have your animals, whatever you have, you tilling that farm, doing whatever. And if strangers are with you, they are not to do anything either. True. We read that, right? Right. Go ahead and read. Verse 11. Uh-huh. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. The sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. And he blessed this day and he hallowed it. Now let's go to Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter. Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter. 
Deuteronomy 5, and we're going to pick this up at verse 12. Deuteronomy 5 and verse 12. Go ahead, brother. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, mm -hmm. as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. <laughs> now, I want to ask you something. He said, keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it. What does sanctify mean? Set it apart. Set it apart mm -hmm. from all other days, brothers and sisters. Right. This day is not like any other day. Yes, sir. As the Lord thy God has commanded thee. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Six days thou shalt labor. And do all thy work. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Now, I'm going to ask you something, brothers and sisters. I hear a lot of us brothers and sisters sometimes say, yeah, I got to work. I know we in our enemy's land. Hey, that's fine with you. Mm -hmm. But when is it that you ever going to get faith, brothers and sisters, to do what does say your God? Right. You worried about eating? Mm -hmm. You worried about your housing? You worried about your cars? But I understand, brothers and sisters, if we do what does say the Lord, the Lord is going to take care of his people. I ain't telling you to quit your jobs. And don't believe that I'm telling you this today. But I'm saying your faith sometimes got to come up. Right. You can't stay where you are. Mm -hmm. You can't come to tell me when the Lord's Sabbath day come, you got to go to work. And then, hey, a lot of your jobs now, we give this form out to you. Hey, Brother Garvin. Brother McKinley, will you give me this form so I can have off? And when you turn that form in, a lot of times they let you off, don't they? That's right. But I'm just saying to the brothers and sisters like myself, I don't go and clock in for nobody. I work for myself. So listen to me. One day ain't going to break me. And matter of fact, I'm a lawn service guy. I have a landscaping business. And you know what my biggest money is? Today. But guess what? It ain't. <laughs> my biggest money is all through the week. Because my God told me to keep the Sabbath day right. and not to pollute it. Mm -hmm. And when I receive new customers, I tell them, look, I don't work on Saturday. Oh, well, why you don't work on Saturday, Mr. Bank? Mm -hmm. Oh, I go to church. I keep the Sabbath. Oh, okay. Now, some people say, well, hey, look, uh, I said, can I cut your grass on Sunday? Oh, sure, I don't care. But then some say, no, that's my Sabbath. I said, oh, okay. Well, when you want me to do it? And some of them get mad and say, well, I don't even want you to do it. Mm -hmm. I say, thank you. Walk right. on off. Right. Never had his money anyway. Mm -hmm. I never had her money anyway, so I won't miss that. Right. Amen? Amen. See, this is what we got to stand up and do for our God. Faith is belief. Mm -hmm. Your whole trump card is belief. Right. Do you think that you serve a God that's not going to take care of you? If he take care of a sparrow and if he take care of a raven, they crying to him, mm -hmm. crying to them for their food. Right. Are you more than a bird? Right. So I know when I talk to some brothers and sisters, all the time I hear, oh, I got to work. Oh, I got, I got to feed my family. Feed your family. But do what your God tell you to do. Mm -hmm. Where's your God going? When are you going to stand up for your God? When are you going to believe him? The Lord told us. He told this to our forefathers, brothers and sisters. He said, I told them this to prove you. Yes, sir. To see if they're going to believe it. We're right. going to read it. Mm -hmm. To see what you walk into it. Right. The Lord is still proving you today. We ain't in the land. We're in captivity. But he's still proving you. And yes. every time you ain't keeping the Sabbath, he's mocking it. Mm -hmm. That boy, that don't love me. That girl, that don't love me. Mm -hmm. He's marking it down. Right. That's right. Because something that you really want to do, guess what? You're going to find gonna a, way a way to do what? To do it. That's right. You want to do that foolishness, mm -hmm. you find a way to do it, don't you? Yes, sir. And I know some of you were. Hey, because I used to do it. Mm -hmm. When the Prince concerts and Michael Jackson them used to come and I wanted to go, I'm sick. I lied. But I found a way to do, do what? To get Look off. I see y'all looking and laughing at me. Mm -hmm. But that's the <laughs> truth. That's Didn't right. you do it? Yes, sir. So if you really love your God like you say, and you believe in him and trust him, you need to pray to him. Father, get me out of this. Mm -hmm. Allow me to come keep your Sabbath. Right. Allow me to come keep your holy days. Mm -hmm. 
This is what I'm saying. I'm just saying, hey, let's be real with one another. That's right. Because we can suck and jive each other all the time. But really, when it come down to this, you can't shuck and jive him. Because the Lord said he know he tries the reins. Mm -hmm. He know your mind. Right. He know what's in you. Mm -hmm. He know what you saying. He right. know, and don't know about everybody else looking at you. Thank you holding oh, that brother there. And you cutting up. Mm -hmm. And the Lord know. Mm -hmm. That's it, brother. For sure. Where we at? Verse 14. Go ahead and read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Uh-huh. Thou nor thy son. Not thy son. Nor thy daughter. Uh-huh. Nor thy manservant. Uh-huh. Nor thy maidservant. Go ahead. Nor thine ox. Nor thine ass. Nor any of thy cattle. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. That thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. Did you see what the Lord say? So whatever you got, even if you got a slave or whatever, the slave got to work just as well as you are. This is why I want to get you. See, because this is what's going on. You mean to tell me I can keep the Sabbath, but I got to still have them ones that's serving me, make them go on to work? Right. No, sir, that's a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. The Lord said they got to rest too. Yes, sir. And then if we're supposed to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth, aren't we supposed to teach all other nations to do this? Right. That's so right. then on the Sabbath day, if I'm going to go out on the Sabbath day, he already said no work. We're going to read it. No kindle, no fire, do nothing. And mm -hmm. I'm going to make somebody serve me, brothers and sisters. What have I done? I polluted the Sabbath. That's right. I made somebody serve me. Mm -hmm. Where we at, brother? Verse 15. Read that. And remember that <coughs> thou was a servant in the land of you Egypt. You see what the Lord said? Remember you was a servant where? In, in the Egypt. Land of Egypt. Go ahead. And that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. <coughs> Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. You see what the Lord said? So he commanded us this. Mm -hmm. This is a commandment straight directly from him. Yes, sir. Let's go here to Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. Jeremiah 17. See, because, brother, this was so right here about this Sabbath day. The Lord, hey, got so mad at Israel. Israel wouldn't do anything what the Lord said. Wouldn't, man. But the Lord just told Israel just to keep the Sabbath day. That's it. Just keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. If you do this, I ain't going to kick you out the land. Right. But guess what? <laughs> do it. <laughs> Woo. Let's go read it and believe it. Mm -hmm. You know you might as well believe it because, hey, we're looking at one another where? Over mm -hmm. in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And we're not in Jerusalem, are we? No, sir. Okay. I just want to know. Jeru Jeremiah 17 and verse 21. What does it say? Thus saith the Lord, take heed to yourselves and bear no burden on the Sabbath day. And do what? Bear, bear no, no burden, burden on the Sabbath day. Whatever it is, don't do it today, y'all. Right. Go ahead and read. Nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. So don't even bring a burden out on the Sabbath day. Don't bring it out of your house. Go ahead and read. Neither do ye any work, but hallow ye the Sabbath day as I commanded your fathers. You see what he said? He said, but hallow ye. What hallow mean? Holy. Right. Holy ye the Sabbath day as I commanded your fathers. Go ahead. That's it. Read. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, uh -huh. that they might not bear may not hear nor receive instruction. You see that? And that's what a lot of brothers and sisters are still doing to this day. That's right, brother. They don't want to hear this, but you'll go do everything else. Mm -hmm. But let's go here. Go to Nehemiah the 10th chapter. Nehemiah 10. And we're going to pick it up at verse 28. Nehemiah 10 and verse 28. 
Because I know if I can do it and I change my ways, I know you can do it. Amen? Yes, sir. It's quiet again. Mm-hmm. It's quiet again, y'all. Y'all ain't talking to me today. Amen? Amen. I still didn't get everybody. That's all right. That's on your head. Nehemiah 10 and 28, what does it say? And the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethanims, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. It says everyone had knowledge and understanding. It calls out the singles, everybody, the daughters. He said to do the law of God. Uh -huh. He said, and that they had knowledge. Did not start you off in Romans the seventh chapter. I'm speaking to them that what? Know the law. You got to have knowledge of this thing. Mm -hmm. Listen what they said. Go ahead, brother. They clave to their brethren. He said they clave to their brothers. And what? Their nobles. Uh -huh. And entered into a curse. They entered into a what? A curse. What? You entered into a curse. When you got in that water and you said all that you're going to do what the Lord said and you got baptized, you mm -hmm. entered into a vow. You right. entered into a curse. Yes. And when you don't do what the Lord say, he going to get you. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read, brother. And into an oath. And into an oath, didn't you? Yes. Go ahead. To walk in God's law. To walk in whose laws? God. Not yes. mine. Go ahead, brother. Which was given by Moses, the servant of God. Where was this thing given? It went all the way back to the beginning, didn't it? Yes. He said he gave it unto Moses. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read, brother. And to observe and to and do all the commandments of the Lord our God, uh -huh. our Lord our Lord, and his judgments and his statutes. You see what the Lord said? And his statutes. Are we really... Are we really, are we really doing this? What verse we at? We at verse 30 now. Go ahead and read it. And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. Now, hey, we in the land, we around here, mm. and listen, brothers and sisters, we still among these same type of people. Right. That was in the land back then. That's right. They didn't know about our God, and we still telling them today, hey, you know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Do you know the God of the Sabbath, Lord of the Sabbath? Man, you ain't got to do that. <laughs> so therefore, why I got to give my daughters and my son to them? Right. The Lord say, you don't marry an unequal what? Unequally yo. Nowhere. Because it's going to be a tug of war going on. Well, I tell you what, you just go on. I'm going to church today. And you gone over there to that cut over there on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Okay. But go ahead. 31. Uh-huh. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath mm -hmm. or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exact exaction of every debt. You see what, the, what he said? So, hey, man, the people of the land, it's just like today. Today is the Sabbath. Folks doing everything. Mm -hmm. If somebody come up to you, hey, brother, you want to buy a CD or something? What you supposed to do? That's other land, ain't it? Right. That's where we are. Uh -huh. No, nah, brother, I don't want that. Thank you. Go on about your business. Right. Well, what's up, man? Why? Hey, today the Sabbath. See, you'll be able to tell them. Mm -hmm. And if they do hear, hey, you want that soul. Right. That's right. This is what the Lord is saying. We reading all this together, isn't we? Let's go over here to the 13th chapter. Turn right over to the 13th chapter. 13th chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 15. But see, y'all didn't know that you entered into a curse and took an oath, did you? Right. So I read that to you today. So if you didn't know it, write it down. Thirteen and verse fifteen. What does it say? In those days saw I in Judah some tre treading 
wine presses on the Sabbath. Oh, they was pressing wine presses on the Sabbath. Man, they had wine, and they had, and they was over there stumping the wine and pressing it on the Sabbath day. And the Lord say, what? No work on this day. That's right. Go ahead and read. And bringing in sheaves and laden asses, and also as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. Yes, sir. There, were, there dwelt men of Tyre also therein, uh -huh. which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah. He and say, I contended with the nobles of Judah, just like I had to contend with the brothers here. O Israel. Yes, Go ahead and read. And said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do? And profane the Sabbath day. You see that? Go ahead. Did not your fathers thus? And did not our God bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath? Uh-huh. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut. And charged that, that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. Uh -huh. And some of my servants said I at the gates that there should no bird be brought in on the Sabbath day. Go ahead, brother. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Mm -hmm. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. From the time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. You see that? So when somebody started getting that head whooped, when the Lord started dropping some of these folk, then they going to see this for real. Yes, sir. So is this, you mean to tell me, Nehemiah had to go and tell some folk, hey, man, you come outside this gate one, time, one more time, and you make somebody buy, I'm going to lay hands on you. Yes, sir. This is how serious the Sabbath day is. Mm -hmm. And I have pleaded with some of you brothers and some of you sisters and told y'all, hey, man, believe in your God. Mm -hmm. Do you believe God? And then when I tell you, yeah, I believe in him. And then I tell you, I say, I know you don't. Right. And you look at me crazy mm -hmm. because I know you don't because you don't, your actions, you don't do it. And you don't try to make preparations to get yourself off. These are the things what I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. That's right. Do y'all really believe the Sabbath day is for real? Uh huh. Guess what? You don't keep this Sabbath day. You don't keep it every weekly. And once you keep the weekly Sabbath day, this represents the big Sabbath day. Right. You don't do this day, you won't get in on that day. Right. This is how serious this thing is. True. Let's go here to Exodus, the 35th chapter. Exodus 35. See, because I'm covered all what you should do and what you should not do on the Sabbath. Exodus 35, and let's pick it up at verse 1. Exodus 35 and verse 1. What does it say? And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded, that ye should do them. That you should do them. Go ahead, brother. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. You see what they're saying? So this is what it's saying, brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm going to just sum it up for you. You keep on playing with this Sabbath day, you ain't getting in. You're going to die. Right. You're going to the lake of fire. Uh-huh. That's the death he's talking about. Right. You're going to die that second death. There you go. It's all pointed to all men to die once. Mm -hmm. But hey, when the Lord come and wake you up, he's going to cast you again into that lake of fire. Because mm -hmm. you did not have faith enough to do this. Right. And faith is nothing but what? Believe. Believe. Go ahead, brother. Verse 3. Uh-huh. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. You see what the Lord said? Ye should not kindle no fire. You ain't the cook. Now, I'm going to say this, brothers and sisters. Some of us sick, and you got to take medication. 
I'm not telling you to stop taking your medication. You do what the doctor say. You have to have medication, take your medication. You have to heat up some, the Lord know it. Go cook you some. If you got to have hot food, but if you ain't got to have no hot food, it's some baloney. That's right. You can cook you a chicken and leave it out all night. The Lord ain't even going to let it spoil. Yeah, it and ain't going to even let it stink. Teach, brother. Teach. But you got to have the faith. There you you can go. even go make you some tuna fish up. But the Lord is saying, but if you got to have some hot food, that you do. That's between you and your God. Mm -hmm. See, because, hey, on the Day of Atonement, hey, you know, you brothers and sisters know, hey, I have an issue. And I asked my nurse one time. I said, I don't eat. I, kept, I keep the atonements every year. I do what the Lord say, brothers and sisters. I said, if I don't eat, what's going to happen to me? You're going to die. I said, I'm going to die. I said, that sounds like Jacob and Esau. Mm. I said, Esau, he didn't eat one day. He's going to die. Yeah. So I just refused to believe that. I said, well, I guess I'm going to die. I'm going to die doing what the Lord told me to do. And I believe that. Right. And I keep it every year. Don't eat nothing. Might get a little strength and go on. Mm -hmm. That's right. So like I say, brothers and sisters, I know if I can do it, and I'm sickly, you can do it. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Come on, bro. He said you should not kindle no fire, right? Mm -hmm. Let's right. go here to Exodus, the 16th chapter. Turn right to Exodus, the 16th chapter. But this is a lot about this Sabbath day, isn't it? Sure. We're seeing it. The Lord is going to lay it out. Exodus 16, and we're going to pick it up at verse 2. Exodus 16 and verse 2. When you get it, everybody say amen. Amen. Go ahead, brother. And the whole congregation of Israel, of the children of Israel, murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. Uh -huh. and, the, and the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we have died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. You see that? Now that's something to say. But go ahead and read. When we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full. And you ain't eat no bread to the fullest. You around there eating onions and garlic and leaf. <laughs> But they act like they had steak, belong, prime rib. Yeah. Man, go ahead and read, bro. For ye have brought us forth into, into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Uh-huh. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that I may prove them. Whether they will walk in my law or no. You see what he said? The Lord is doing this. He say, hey, they was murmuring so bad. He said, Moses, I got it. I'm going to feed them. Mm -hmm. And he rained bread down from them. Yes. And this bread was no other than manna. But the Lord told them, hey, I'm going to do this whether they will walk in my law or what? Or no. Go ahead, bro. And it shall come to pass. That on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in. And it shall be twice as much as they gathered daily. Uh -huh. And Moses and Aaron said unto the children of Israel, At even then ye shall know that the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now skip down to 14. What does it say? And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round ring thing. As small as the hoarfrost on the ground. Uh huh. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna. Mm -hmm. For they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. Uh huh. Go this, ahead. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating, and omer for every man mm -hmm. according to the number of your persons. Take ye every man for them which are in his tents. Go ahead. And the children of Israel did so and gathered some more, some less. Some more, some less. That means you had some hard heads there, didn't you? Yes, sir. Still. Go ahead. And when they did meet it with an homer, he that gathered much had nothing over, 
And he that gathered little had no lack. Mm -hmm. They gathered every man according to his eating. Go ahead, brother. And Moses said, let no man leave of it till the morning. Let no man leave of it till the morning. Go ahead. Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto Moses, but some of them left of it until the morning. And it bred worms and stank, and Moses was wrought with them. See? And that's what I'm going to say, brothers and sisters. See, because you got to keep your foot on Israel's neck at all times. Man. Because Israel, we are a rebellious people, hardhead. Uh-huh. Come and tell you the truth. Tell you what does say the Lord. Yes, sir. But you say you don't believe. Right. So Moses got mad at the people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read, bro. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. Oh, when the sun waxed hot, it was gone. Go ahead. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread. Two omers for one man. Mm -hmm. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. Go ahead. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today, and see that which you will see. Uh -huh. And that which remaining over, lay it up, lay up for your you to be kept until the morning. So, hey, if you did a little cooking, he telling you cook a little more right then that day. Right. And then the ones that went out and got the bread, hey, get you a little more. Uh-huh. Get you more for tomorrow. Right. Go ahead and read, bro. And they laid it up until the morning, and Moses bathed, and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. See, but you had to have faith to believe that. Right. You see what I'm saying, bro? Yes, see, sir. faith is all in this thing. Uh-huh. You don't believe, you won't receive it. Right. Go ahead and read. And Moses said, eat that today, for today is a Sabbath unto the Lord. Today ye shall not find it in the field. Uh-huh. Hey, you ain't going to find it in the field, so don't even go out there looking for it. Don't get up. Don't get to working. No. Hey, if you want you some chicken or whatever, don't go pull no sticks up. Don't go do no, no work, people. Right. It's just a... Holy Sabbath, it's a rest day. Yes, sir. Which you're supposed to have a holy convocation on. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. Uh-huh. And, and it came to pass that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. See, there they go that hard head again. See, every time, brother, whatever it say, you got some going to believe, and some what? Not going to believe. Right. Which one are you? Hmm. I'm asking you that question again. Which one are you? 